here we have a new combi drill from Hitachi. As you say, most of you will be familiar with Hitachi, a renowned manufacturer of power tools for a number of years. Open the case, let's turn it around, get straight into it. As you can see there, everything nice, compact, everything you need in the case there. You've got a charger, you can take that out, put that to one side. You've got uh, two lithium batteries there, latest technology. So let's get straight into this. Um, lithium batteries, lightweight, much more efficient than the old nickel metal hydride or NICAD batteries. Keep their power right to the end of their charge. Let's take a look at them there. What have we got there? You've got yeah, 1.5 amp hour lithium batteries. You've got two of them there and a nice fast charger. So initial thoughts on the drill. You've got good sign of quality there. You've got an all metal 13 mil keyless chuck. It's a combi drill, so you've got screw driving, you've got 22 torque settings. So you can adjust the pressure of the screw that you're putting into the material so you don't damage or burst through the material. If you're doing something soft like plasterboard, veneers, things like that, you can adjust the torque when you're screw driving. Once you've set your torque, you can just put as many screws into that material as you want of the same size and they won't burst through the material. So it's nice to have 22 torque settings. Come round, got a drill sign there, the icon there, that's for normal drilling. So if you're drilling wood or metal or anything like that, plastics, you'd use that icon and it's a combi drill, combination drill. Click once more, you've got the hammer action which is for hammer drilling when you're doing masonry applications. Uh, variable speed, you've got a little job light that's automatically activated there when you depress the trigger. That shines up onto your workpiece. You can see on my hand there. Variable speed on the trigger. Little slider there for forward and reverse. Two speeds. Slow. Fast. So nice and simple. Let's have a look at it, how it comes. Comes with a double-ended posi bit there. That's the most popular bit. Let's see how it performs though, because that's the key to all of these machines. So first we're gonna Try a little bit of masonry nice and quickly. Big old masonry drill. Put the, put the uh, bit in and just twist the chuck. You heard it ratchet there, that's nice and locked. It's already on the hammer action, uh, but it's on low, so I'm gonna click it to high for masonry drilling. Just put the goggles on for safety. Right, this big old cement block across. Right, let's just drill a couple of holes in this. As you can see, it's making short work of that. As with anything, always make sure you've got a decent quality bit that you're using. So, that made short work of drilling into masonry. Let's drill a bit in wood. Again, it's not often you'd use a drill bit quite that fat, but there we go. Um, it's gonna hold this one here, this is in wood. Again, it's in high. Click it to drill, not hammer drill. And let's have a go. Just careful not to drill through into the bench. Made very short work of that. Just literally twist and you're good to go. So just quickly show you a little bit of screwdriving. Just turn the sleeve there. Okay, I'm gonna do a set of torque setting of about, I'm gonna go onto 12 there. Uh, let's see if we can just put a screw in here, slide this along a bit, see if this torques out on 12. It may do, it may not. Right. Always going low when you're screw driving. And you've got more control, as you can see there. So we're on torque setting number 12. And that has clicked out there. I'm going down the grain, which I probably shouldn't do, but that enables you to send lots of different screws in at that depth. That's a little bit proud. As I say, it's a thin bit of wood there, and that's going to split if I keep doing it. But if I wanted to go deeper, I would simply turn that up a couple of notches, or if I didn't want to go quite as hard as that, I'd turn it down a couple of notches. So that performed 
very well. I'll take that one out there. So what you've got, you've got two batteries. You've got your fast charger. It's a quick release battery, just literally slides on, slides off. Simple as that. You've got bimaterial grip, grip at the back there. So if you need, need to just steady it, you've got that. You've got high and low speed, variable on the trigger, instant brake lock, 22 torque settings, normal drilling and hammer drilling. All in a smashing carry case. That is the 18 volt lithium iron combi drill from Itachi.